We're going to start by placing a towel on your lap at a height that is easiest for your dog to rest its chin onto. You're going to shape your dog to rest its chin on the towel. Probably going to need to start with clicking and rewarding them for looking at the towel and then maybe sniffing the towel and then interacting with it, touching it. I don't use a verbal cue to ask the dog to rest its chin. The towel on my lap is the cue to do the chin rest behavior. And this chin resting on towel behavior is what we call a start button. If the dog is resting its chin on the towel, we will proceed with the training. If they remove their head, we'll give them a break and wait for them to offer their head back on the, on the towel. So here I'm waiting for her to interact with the towel, look at it. She just sniffed it, so I'm gonna reward. And then she remembers, oh yeah, actually I know this behavior. And I'm trying to reward for duration now. She leaves, I wait, she comes back, I reward. And you know your dog understands this behavior when when you present the towel, they immediately put their head in the chin rest position. Once your dog can maintain the chin rest behavior for at least five seconds, it's time to increase criteria to gently and briefly touching your dog's face. If your dog is maintaining the chin rest behavior while you're touching them, this is a good indication that they're probably okay with what you're doing. Make your way around until you can touch any part of their muzzle and they stay with their chin resting on the towel. If your dog raises its head from the towel, stop what you're doing and simply wait for them to place their chin back down. Take note of what you were doing and go back a step or two and rebuild their confidence with the chin rest behavior. I start by building on her chin rest duration. And then I pretend like I'm gonna touch her, but reward her before I actually touch her face. Here I'm gonna touch her face and then give her a jackpot. Note how she stays with her chin rest on the towel the whole time. Now that you can touch your dog, anywhere on her muzzle, and she's comfortable enough to maintain the chin rest behavior while you're doing it, you're ready to start lifting your dog's lip, but don't yet touch the inside of your dog's mouth. That'll be the next step. And of course, all the same rules apply. Initially, keep your touches brief and build duration slowly. Proceed only when your dog's chin is on the towel. If they do lift their chin, stop and wait for them to replace it without you prompting or cueing them. And then go back a few steps to rebuild your momentum. Now that your dog will allow you to lift their lip for some duration, it's time to start actually touching their teeth. So the first step is to begin by lifting with the intent to touch their gums, and then if they appear comfortable, proceed by briefly touching the dog's teeth along the gum line. Over time, build duration on this behavior, but at the beginning, keep your touches brief. Now that the dog is comfortable with you touching anywhere on the inside of their mouth, it's time to start introducing the toothbrush. Start by just holding it in your hand while you perform the behaviors you've been doing, uh, like just touching their face, lifting a lip, and touching their teeth with your finger. If they're comfortable with that, now it's time to pretend like you're gonna touch them with the toothbrush, but just stop short 
and reward them for just letting the toothbrush approach them. They continue to be comfortable. Now it's time to briefly touch the inside of their mouth with the toothbrush. Practice this until you can touch any spot along their gum line. Once they've completed that behavior, it's time to practice the actual motion of brushing their teeth along the gum line and then build duration. Now it's time to introduce toothpaste. Um, make sure you're using a dog-specific toothpaste. Never use human toothpaste on a dog. Um, you may want to start by putting some toothpaste on your finger so that your dog can smell and taste it before you put it on the toothbrush. Um, but once you're ready, put a small amount of toothpaste on the toothbrush and repeat all the steps we went through in the last step of um, the toothbrush step by introducing the toothbrush plus toothpaste in kind of a slow, incremental manner. This is a session of me working with Ren after she's gone through all the steps and she is um, accepting toothpaste on the toothbrush and allowing me to brush her entire mouth.